So we're joined here by the Liverpool legend, Bruce Grobler. Bruce, seen you thrown a few darts there, and you've seen natural. Have you played before? Well, when I was playing with Liverpool, we used to go to the pub at, uh, after training, and um, yes, myself and Stevie Nicholl, we used to go into a pub where there was a nice dartboard, and we used to play yeah. down in on the Wirral, so yeah. you know, it's not bad. It, it's, I think it's uh, you, what you generally see is, is that a lot of the football teams, they have dartboards, you know, in, in I don't know, the practice ground, the training ground, because it seems like they it brings the players together, maybe, a little bit of bonding. Yes, exactly. Uh, they, br they bring that in, just just get the, the bonding, but on all, it also takes the relaxation out of it. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a place for the players, can they can unwind from training and just throwing a couple of darts. Yeah, being a sportsman in a pub, that's not bad. No, 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 no yes, that's it is. <laughs> and, and what about South Africa? Any dartboards in South Africa in those, in that, when you've grown up? Yes, dartboards in South Africa were, were prevalent in, in pubs. Um, if you go into the sports bars in any of the sports clubs, you'll get you'll get the dart corner, yeah. you'll get your uh, card corner, So and then the, the, there's the snooker rooms. So, yes, dartboards were all over Africa yeah. because it was taken there by, by the British and the English. Yeah. And who was the better dart player of you and Stevie Nicol? Uh, Stevie went. Stevie went to America. I don't think he plays darts anymore. No. Well, thank you very much, Bruce. No thanks for your time. Cheers. Thanks.